When it comes to frozen food, like Hot Pockets, I have very mixed feelings. On the one hand, they don't taste very good. Plus, like so many people, I'm trying to stay away from highly processed foods with questionable ingredients. But on the other hand, a pocket of dough full of pizza stuffing, it should be good. It could be good. Which has got me wondering, what if someone remade them? I think I know just the person. For those of you who haven't met her, my wife, Ava, who's very, very Italian, is not the biggest fan of that kind of food. It's pretty. Um. But I also have a feeling she would be really good at making it. Hey, Ava. Remember these? Mama. You want a hot meal without a big deal? What are you gonna pick? Hot pocket. Okay, Ava, are you ready for the first frozen junk food item you need to recreate? Si, al perro. Now, you might remember these. These are Totino's pizza rolls. How can you forget this, Arper? This is like uh, the first love that you will never forget in your life. For our Italian friends who, who doesn't know what they are, they are a small bite of a dough of some sort stuffed with apparently tomatoes and mozzarella. Imitation mozzarella cheese. And then we need to place them on a baking, uh, baking tray. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say baking tray. No, that's okay, but you understand what I'm saying. No, what does it say? Baking shape. You're the only person I've ever seen carefully place each pizza roll on the baking sheet one by one. You just dump them out. Because even if I don't like them, I respect them and I treat them with uh, as much as love, as much love as I can. They are all open. So all the fake mozzarella cheese is pouring outside. The tomato inside is really, is, how do you say, revolting? Revolting, it's that's revolting. how you say it. The dough outside, you can say that it's fried, you can taste that it's fried. But it's a fried, fried in a very bad way because then when you eat in the oven, you become all chewy, like gum. The, the cheese, they said, it's an imitation of mozzarella cheese, so I don't want also to use any words about this. Oh, hot. You're right, the dough is very gummy. Do you have an idea of a way to make them better? Easy, Harper, easy. For my pizza rolls, I'm making a dough that I know for sure it will fry very, very well. And it's a dough made by, with flour, lard, water, yeast, salt, and some white wine. And now we let it rest for about 45 minutes room temperature. But be sure that your air, con air conditioning is not too high because otherwise it will be like winter. So about 24 degrees Celsius. What is 24 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 24 degrees Celsius is 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit.
fridge, you can easily freeze them. When you want to eat them, just take out from the freezer, fry in a very hot oil, and they're ready. Here we have our Totino's pizza rolls, and here we have homemade I was about to say Totino's, but they're not Totino's. Homemade pizza rolls. Just from uh, a first sight, what you can think? Well, for starters, all of the pizza rolls, all of them, yes, all of them are busted open. Uh, yours are not in any way. These look light and crispy. Should I try one? I think so, Aper. Okay, buon appetito. Buon appetito. Wow, okay. I, I bit too much, I bit all the filling out. The dough, it tastes like pizza dough, but it's just like so flaky and crispy. That's delicious. I didn't bite too much, so in mine there's still uh, some uh, filling, there's some stuffing. I didn't put too much because then you risk the same of the totino, that all the mozzarella and all the tomatoes will leak outside, so. Those are not just like better than Totino's pizza rolls, it's like a really, really awesome thing. These are amazing. Okay, they, this is not healthy food, I understand. But at least you know what you are eating, while with this, uh, you don't know what you are eating. I know what I'm eating when I eat Totino's pizza rolls. Enriched flour, wheat flour, niacin, ferrous sulfate, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, tomato puree, water, tomato paste, imitation mozzarella cheese, water, palm oil, modified cornstarch, vegetable oil, soybean, high oleic, soybean and or canola oil, rennet casein, salt, sodium, aluminum phosphate, potassium chloride, citric acid, guar gum, potassium sorbate preservative, sodium citrate, sodium phosphate, titanium dioxide, artificial color, water, vegetable oil, soybean, high oleic, soybean and or canola oil, contains less than 2% of rehydrated fat free mozzarella cheese, water, skim milk, cheeses, cultures, salt, enzyme, citric acid, sugar, modified cornstarch, salt, modified white, defeated soy flour, spice, method, meth Methyl cellulose, potassium sorbate preservative, modified tapioca, starch, dextrose, rehydrated enzyme, modified cheese, water, milk, cheese, cultural salt, enzymes, multi-dextrin, TBHQ, preservative, natural flavor, contains wheat, milk, and soy ingredients, contains bioengineered food ingredients. You see, I know exactly what I'm eating. Highly recommend trying this one out. Recipe down below, but you're not done yet. But these are done. <laughs> these are done. Aper, where are you going? Done. Give me no, one. these are mine. This is yours. This no. is mine. All right, we have one. Ready for the next challenge? No, but yes. These ones you actually liked, if I remember correctly. Bagel bites. That weren't so bad like the Tutino pizza roll, some others that I remember very well. <laughs> much, much better. If I'm desperate uh, that I can't cook uh, because I cut my hands uh, and I need something uh, to eat, uh, this maybe can be a, one of my choice. <laughs> While we wait for these pizza rolls to cook, let us know in the comments below, what's your favorite frozen junk food? And I'm not just asking so that I have more ideas for things for Ava to try. Is it stuck? They smell much better than, than the other one. Buon appetito! Can I eat this every day? It's my favorite food. No, but at least I can eat one of these. Yeah, they're really not bad. It's mostly a matter of the tomato sauce and the cheese being better. If I were this company who make the bagel bites, I could avoid the sugar, because this tomato sauce is pretty sugary. So maybe if they skip the sugar, they become a little bit better. Well, now's your chance to try. But before we do, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's sponsor is Shaker and Spoon. If any of you are into cocktails, you need to check them out. It's a subscription box where every month they send the craft cocktail experience right to you. Each box comes with three original cocktail recipes. And don't think you can just make three also. You can make four of each one, so that's 12. They're very cool cocktails that you can make at home because the box includes all of the special ingredients you need to make them. The different syrups, the bitters, the aromatics, 
Each box has a theme, and it's also based around like one type of liquor. The good folks at Shaker and Spoon were very thoughtful and sent us an Italian-themed box, Negroni-themed. Our favorite was the Frutta e Fiori. It had a, a hibiscus tea gin, strawberry syrup, and balsamic vinegar. In order to make something really like special and different, it's like, what are you gonna go buy a bunch of big bottles of all these different ingredients and stuff? And then you feel like, okay, well I have all this stuff, I should just keep making this drink. It's hard to like try a bunch of different stuff. This is really cool because they just ship you the right amount. Go to shakerandspoon.com slash pastagrammer or you can click the link down in the description below and just use code pastagrammer when you check out. You will get $20 off your first box. A big thank you to Shaker and Spoon for sponsoring today's video. To make my bagel bites, I'm going to prepare a dough that is resemble pizza, but is not pizza, because I'm going to keep it a little bit more uh, dense. In order to make this, uh, I don't uh, put my dough in the fridge, uh, let it rise overnight. I just put my dough in a very warm place. And believe me that in Arizona, we have a very warm place. Bagels are uh, boiled and then baked. Now, I don't feel very confident to boil my pizza dough, but I know that uh, it seems very well. I think you might have uh, missed part of the point of bagel bites. These are full-sized bagels. They're not really bite-sized. If you want a bite-sized, you take a bite of a bagel. At this point, uh, if you want, you can also freeze them. Uh, and uh, when you are, you are going to eat them, remember to take them out from the freezer 10 minutes before and then bake again, uh, just to melt the cheese. You've skipped the pepperoni. Just a moment. Put your pepperoni, Harper. Okay, well, let's see how they taste. Buon appetito. Yeah, um, try that. Try that. You have completely knocked it out of the park again. I, I truthfully went into this like, okay, she made a bagel and put pizza toppings on it. How good could it possibly be? It's really, really good. The dough, it's interesting, because it's not quite a bagel, but it's not quite a pizza. It's somewhere in between and it's perfect. It's like the perfect level of crispiness and then like totally, totally soft on the inside. That's an amazing dough you've made. I'm leaving him just talking because I'm enjoying how much he's enjoying. Could you theoretically make them smaller? Mm-hmm. So there you go. You should check out the recipe, which is down below. And if you want real bite-sized bagels, you can do so. More than this, what do you want me to do? Mm, I've got something a little bit more planned. Okay, it's time for your absolute favorite, Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets! But I don't like them. Maybe you can make them better. I'm not very happy with this. No, I, I avoid to read all this. It's like, I, I don't want. How do you say in English, ignorance is blessing, blessed? These are easier to cook. You just use the microwave. It's like they already smell like that. I have to put on a plate. Uh, yeah, you're definitely gonna wanna put it on a plate. Do you remember the pizza rolls? Ah, uh, because it would leak. It's a distinct possibility. 
here there is written crispy rice. Look at this. This has nothing to do with the word crispy. I'm speechless. Are they just like you remembered? Worst. And I remember them to be very, very bad. Mamma mia. It's horrible, for schifo. It makes me puk. Puk? Si. Oh, puke. Puke. Eh. It's all attached to my teeth. It's like a, a glue. It should be good, right? Dough, tomato sauce, cheese, salami. So can you think of any way to improve them? Oh, Arpero. Everything can be better than them. <laughs> Isn't this like a pata shoe? Yeah, sort of. As you know, I'm not a big fan of pepperoni. So this time I make my Calabrian knot pocket with some dude. I don't know if the awesomeness of how this looks conveys very well on camera. It looks amazing though. It's also super solid. Do you remember when you picked up the Hot Pocket and it was sort of like bleh. This is the elevated version of uh, that. Well, let's see. We haven't tasted it yet. Maybe it's disgusting. You can put here whatever you want on this plate against that. Uh, this uh, will win uh, no matter what. <laughs> Wait, I want to see something. Will no, don't, don't do this. Will this fit? Don't do this. What if don't... it fits? OK, it doesn't don't... fit. Perfect. It's so pretty. I don't even want to bite into it. Yes, I do. I want to bite into it. Pay attention because uh, as every hot pocket... Uh, <laughs> it might is... burn my mouth. Is your hot pocket cold in the middle? It's frozen. But it can be served boiling lava hot. One appetito. I need to bite a little further to discover what secrets lie inside. There's the Induya. There's the Induya. Wow. Okay, I know you're dying for a bite. There you See, go. See, because I want to know how it tastes. It's kind of amazing. That's the thing. It's not just better than a Hot Pocket. It's maybe better than everything else you cooked today. This is the best junk food that I had ever had in all my life. The dough is exactly what a Hot Pocket dough should be. You know, a Hot Pocket, it's not pizza dough. It's some kind of flaky, buttery dough, in theory, with a crispy outside. That's what it's supposed to be, obviously, when you, when you look at one. That's what this is. Also, the Induya is... Now, I'm not gonna say where we got this Induya from. However, we'll put a link down below to a very good source for Induya in the United States. They make it in Chicago, it's really good. So if you wanna try it with Induya. But you could also put like salami in here. You can put salami, you can put just cheese. You can be creative with this. I think that you need to experiment in the kitchen more with junk food. Because Arper, if the junk food is well done, one, it's not junk food anymore. Two is delicious. <laughs> Guys, we hope you enjoyed Ava's attempt at remaking these frozen classics. Follow us on social media, at Pasta Grammar, and if you try any of these recipes, tag us in a picture there. We'd love to see what you come up with. Also, let us know down in the comments below if there are any others that we should uh, 
have Ava try to remake. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.